हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द डिप्लोब्लास्टिक एंड ट्रिप्लोब्लास्टिक ऑर्गनाइजेशन एज वेल एज बाय एज वेल एज आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन बॉडी कैविटी दैट इज सीलोम एंड मेटामेरिज्म और दिस इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज सेगमेंटेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी अबाउट द डिप्लोब्लास्टिक एंड ट्रिप्लोब्लास्टिक ऑर्गनाइजेशन so uh, once the embryo is formed it goes for a process uh, this is called as gastrulation uh, you will study in detail in class 12th what is the gastrulation process so the process of gastrulation give rise to germ layers germ layers this is very much important in the embryo where in the embryo and this embryonic germ layers are the four runners of four runners of adult organs and structures so first one is diploblastic body so diploblastic the embryos of porifers and nidarians have two germinal layers that is ectoderm and endoderm and there is undifferentiated layer undifferent shaded layer that is called as mesoglea point to be remember that is called as mesoglea it is present in between ectoderm and endoderm the third layer which is known as mesoglea is present and this type of body organization is called diploblastic diploblastic and th uh, next one is triploblastic you can see the structure here this is diploblastic organization this is ectoderm this is endoderm in between ecto and endoderm there is another third layer which is undifferentiated mass this is called mesoglea and where it occurs it occurs in some poriferans this is actually non mesoglea is actually non cellular but sometimes it contains few cells also next is triploblastic body so higher metazoans form from uh, you can say platy helminthes to mammals they all are having triploblastic layer it means it have three definite tissues layer three definite tissue layer flat form in addition to an outer epidermis derived from ectoderm and inner endodermis derived from endoderm have a middle tissue layer derived from mesoderm which makes the body parts so this is ectoderm there are so many organs which is formed of ectodermal origin then this is endoderm and in between ectoderm and endoderm there is another third layer which is mesoderm for example i can tell you some organs like uh, our nervous system is ectodermal in origin our internal body parts like uh, uh, small intestine or uh, these are the endodermal in origin and uh, our heart and uh, muscles are mesodermal in origin so i think you can understand better what does it mean that is ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm 
सो दिस इज अ टाइप ऑफ ट्रिप्लो ब्लास्टिक बॉडी सो फ्रॉम प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस टू कॉडेटा और मैमल्स दे हैव थ्री जर्मिनल लेयर्स थ्री जर्म लेयर्स एंड दैट इज इक्टो मीजो एंड एंडोडर सो यू गॉट इट एंड द नेक्स्ट इज सिलोम सिलोम दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज बॉडी कैविटी बॉडी कैविटी सो सिलोम कैन बी डिफाइंड एज लार्ज फ्लूट फिल्ड स्पेस लाइंग बिटवीन द आउटर फ्लूट फिल्ड स्पेस विच लाइंग बिटवीन द आउटर बॉडी आउटर बॉडी वॉल एंड इनर डाइजेस्टिव ट्यूब इनर डाइजेस्टिव ट्यूब सो इन बिटवीन आउटर बॉडी वॉल एंड इनर डाइजेस्टिव ट्यूब देर इज सम फ्लूट फिल्ड स्पेस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज सिलोम और यू कैन से इट इज लोकेटेड बिटवीन द इंटेस्टाइनल कैनल एंड द बॉडी वॉल सो आई थिंक यू आर गेटिंग दिस दैट द फ्लूट प्रेजेंट बिटवीन आउटर बॉडी वॉल एंड इनर डाइजेस्टिव ट्यूब दिस इज कॉल्ड एज सिलोम और बॉडी कैविटी सिलोम एराइजेस फ्रॉम द मीजोडर पॉइंट टू बी रिमेंबर एज वी हैव डिस्कस देयर सिलोम एराइजेस फ्रॉम मीजोडर द सिलोम देयर फोर इज लाइंड ऑन ऑल साइड्स बाई टिश्यू फॉर्म फ्रॉम द मीजोडर सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ प्रेजेंस और एबसेंस ऑफ सिलोम मेटाजोआ are divided into three major group and the first one is known as a silometer or a silomate a silomate so there is no body cavity no body cavity or silom the embryonic mesoderm remains as a solid layer the space between endoderm Uh, in some uh, books it is also written that this is also called as gut wall so don't be confused this can be called as gut wall ectoderm endoderm and ectoderm is filled with mesenchyme mesenchyme and muscle fiber muscle fiber examples are porifera porifera cilentrata and platy helminthes so there is presence of mesenchyme and muscle fiber you can see here this structure this is ectoderm this is mesoderm actually filled with mesenchyme and this is endoderm and this is the digestive cavity so this is a silomate or a silometer then the next one is second one is pseudo silomate pseudo silometer so body cavity or silom is a pseudo silom or false silom it is persistent blastocils representing the first formed embryonic both cavity enclosed between outer and uh, outer ectoderm and inner endoderm and not lined by mesoderms you can see here this is silomate 
this ectoderm endoderm and examples are round worms see asclementhes or sorry 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 this is pseudocoelom this is ectoderm mesoderm you can see there are some patches actually which is called pseudocoelom and endoderm so both cavity enclosed between outer ectoderm and inner endoderm and not lined by mesoderm and the examples are asclementhes or this is also known as round worms or uh, nematodes so see here this pseudocoelomes occur in patches and the next one is the or you can say scattered pouches in between mesoderm is present in scattered pouches so the last one is the coelomate menthes and the last one is the coelomate or u coelomata this is also called as u coelomata so body cavity is a true coelom u means true true coelom enclosed in mesoderm on both sides animals that have a true coelom can be compared with tube within tube body plan as i um, explained you tube within tube that is the organ system body plan and the phyla having bilateral symmetry from anilida to chordata uh, see the diagram a true coelom develops between two layers of mesoderm and outer parietal and or somatic and inner visceral layer it is lined with mesodermal epithelium called the peritoneum see all the uh, hierarchical uh, level animals occur in this group that is from uh, you can say from anilida to chordata they all are coelomate triploblastic and have bilateral symmetry so see the diagram ectoderm mesoderm endoderm and this is the body cavity and the name of the this mesodermal epithelia is called peritoneum so this is all about the structure of coelom and the next one is segmentation segmentation or this is also called as metamerism so the inner uh, sorry linear repetition linear repetition of body parts is known as metamerism or segmentation each body part or section is called segment or somite or metamers the head of the animal bearing the brain and the sense organ and the uh, on which it opens the anus and not included among the segment so the brain and the <clears throat> sense organs are included in this segmentation process so uh, there are metameric segmentation uh metameric segmentation is first encountered in annelids that is earthworm where it is conspicuously visible both externally and internally i think you all have seen the uh, 
earthworm and most successful group of animal kingdom arthropoda that is so many millipedes and uh, centipedes you have seen and you also have seen the segmentation like this they on their body parts so arthropods are externally metameric while man and other vertebrates show an internal metamerism of body organ muscles nerve certain blood vessels vertebrae and ribs so this point you have to remember that arthropods show uh, external segmentation we show or other vertebrates show internal segmentation then next is incomplete or uh, there is pseudo metamerism pseudo meta merism this is also called as false segmentation and it occurs in tapeworms true metamerism as in earthworm should not be confused with the pseudo metamerism or this is also called strobilization of the tapeworm true segments of earthworm are laid down in embryonic stage but proglottids proglottids of tapeworm are not true metamers they are rather complete reproductive individual divisions produced by strobilization these proglottids are uh, you can see here this is the structure true metamerism of annelids and pseudo metamerism of tapeworm see here these are the proglottids ripe proglottids young and scolex uh, this is their head region uh, there are suckers scolex so they are rather complete reproductive individual divisions so the evolutionary sequence of animals on the basis of level of organization is uh, you can see here so there is something different from true metamerism so this is actually form of strobilization of the proglottids in tapeworm that's why it is known as pseudo metamerism so this is all about the metamerism then uh, development development either direct or indirect so in direct development no intermediate stage example hydra it passes through but in indirect it passes through different juvenile stages juvenile stages means there is larval stage so this is called indirect development this is also called as metamorphosis when the newborn is different from the adult like butterfly uh, like in frogs like in silk moth you can see there uh, so many Uh, different stages in the life cycle and then adult is quite different from the there this beginning stage and this is called as metamorphosis you can see in case of frog also 
there is uh, some stage that is called as tadpole and then they converted into an adult frog which is quite different from the this tadpole stage so this is called as metamorphosis this is a type of indirect development where there is a larval stage but in direct development there is no any intermediate stage they directly developed into uh, just like their adult so this is all about the development